But we're gonna throw this back that way. Try to net around. Some of the cichlids I saw. Oh, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful tetra. Another little rainbow fish, guys. You guys looking, oh my God. These guys are gonna look incredible in this tank. Welcome back to Rob's Aquatics, guys. In today's video, we're going to be fishing for some exotic aquarium fish. But before we get into today's video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. And so, you guys have been asking me a lot to actually keep a lot of the catches. So in today's video, we're going to a location where I already had it, actually, with fish that we can actually keep at some of the tanks I have back at the house. And so, you also wanted to see me try to use some different baits. So today, we're doing a head-to-head -head bait challenge with some cat food, my staple. This is what I use all the time. I catch the most fish off of the cat food but we're going to be putting it up again some super oily beef jerky now i actually got this just a couple minutes ago and i have a feeling it's probably going to work pretty well because beef jerky if you don't know it's pretty oily you know it's tasty i actually really enjoy beef jerky so we got this oberto beef jerky right here and we got another fish trap so we're gonna get the fish traps baited up and then we're gonna grab our nets and net around the canal but if you guys look at the canal right now i'm not sure how this is gonna go because if you look over here you look this way. Why is he watching me? Bro, every time. I literally can't ever have anything. But right here, guys, if you look down here, we got this canal. This canal we caught some really cool rainbow fish out of, but we also caught really cool cichlids. Chew your food for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. But we caught... <laughs> okay. Something gonna eat that, don't worry. We, we'll save the rest for the fish trap. We caught some rainbow fish out of here along with some cool cichlids. Can you see the food in my mouth? Hopefully not. We caught some rainbow fish out of here along with a couple other exotics, some tetras, some cichlids. A lot of stuff we actually have never caught before. So we're back here again because those fish, a lot of those species I could actually keep and bring home, which is something a lot of you guys wanna see. So we're going to be doing that today. But if you look at the canal right now, it is like the Grand Rapids over here. Like it is flowing super hard. So it's gonna be a little bit interesting trying to fish this because of the flow. We're gonna set the fish trap in that little culvert right there. We might set the next one over by the gang stalker. Way over there by that one. Cause I feel like the, the flow might slow down over there. I could see the water surface is not as choppy over there. So the trap should do well. So we're gonna get the trap fitted up, grab a net, start fishing in just a sec. So we got this trap with the beef jerky. We're gonna skew it a little bit because we already know that pocket is just chock full of fish. So it's got the technical advantage right now, although we don't really know if they even like the beef jerky yet. So we're still just, we're just gonna throw it down there. You guys want a dog? I'm about to kidnap that little. <laughs> kidding guys, I'm kidding. I'm not gonna touch the dog. We're gonna throw this back that way literally money literally exactly how i had it last time so we're gonna let that sit over there and we're gonna wander down like the now by the gang stalker and set the cat food we got the next trap with the cat food right here we're just gonna drop it right here because the flow seems to slow down a little bit and you could actually see there's some fish right here if you zoom in with the camera you the water might correct itself and you can see there's some fish floating around down there looks to be maybe some cichlids some mollies and mosquito fish so we're gonna take the cat food drop it just like that Drop it like it's hot, some water up there on top, just in case some grommies or something get in there. We're gonna let that sit, let it do its thing. Pick up the net and go back to where that other trap is and net around the grass to see if we can pull up some any stuff. <laughs> I'm so close to the camera. We're gonna grab the net and start netting around. We're gonna be testing out two nets today. Now this one was supplied by Kevin, shout out to you dog. I got this in the mail the other day and we're going to be breaking this one in and it's a brand new net. And then we got this one that I've been using and this is a super fine net, so if there are any little smaller tetras, we should be able to scoop them up with this. So we're gonna get down there right now. We're gonna see how it goes. I'm wearing sandals, so bear with me. Ugh. I do actually still see a lot of cichlids and other little fish over there. I'm gonna try my best not to mess with that part so that the trap has the best chance to do well. I'll just set that net there for right now. Try to net around this stuff right here. Oh my God. <laughs> So many fish already. Nothing cool, I don't think. I didn't see any color or anything. But if you look right here, guys, look at all these little tiny bait fish. Now, there's a ton of food for these guys to be feeding on. This net is pretty good. We're gonna get all these guys back in the water and just get right back into it. And we're gonna net around for a while while we let those traps sit. We might have to switch net soon because this one's bedding pretty bad. It's not really cut out for all this flow and all this out like weed cover. A lot better for scooping like floating plants. But we'll move the keeper bucket out the side. Ton of little mosquito fish. Anything colorful? Oh, wait, what is that? Oh, wait, it's a white fish. This is not normal, I don't think. This could be the first exotic of the day, guys. If you could identify it, please comment down below and let me know. But regardless, it's questionable, kind of sus. So we're gonna put him in a bucket. We're gonna watch him, see if he colors up. The rest of these fish seem to be just your regular, degular mosquito fish. We're gonna get all these guys back in the canal. 
we're gonna get this guy in our little keeper bucket all right guys we got the first keeper fish of the day right here no idea what he is but i know that is not normal so we're gonna put him in right there usually smaller fish do take a second to recover we're gonna get air on him soon you look he's already starting to kick around he should be fine we're gonna pick this net up and we're gonna take a few more nets with this one before i switch over to that other one i keep stump my hamstrings are like on fire like i can't hold myself up it's really bad i'm gonna net by this cart right here Oh, that was actually a sick net. Looks like more of the same. A lot of little mosquito fish. Nothing too, too cool in this net. We're just going to keep getting at it. Keep getting after it. And I'll pick all these guys up. Hey, buddy. Hey. Get all these guys back in the water real quick. Oh. Any bigger fish? Oh, it looks like we just caught some little shrimpies. No big deal. We're going to take a big net across the top of this whole thing. See if we can pull out anything cool. Oh, yes. Look. Look at that. We caught some cichlids. Now, this could be one of the rarer cichlids. I'm not too sure yet. We got this guy right here. Oh, yeah, this is. So, this looks like a tilapia, guys. But actually, believe it or not, this is a black acara. It's a rare exotic here. You don't really see them too often. Very, very cool little fish. We're not going to be keeping him. I'm sorry, guys. But we've got a crawfish in this net. And I think I saw another darker fish over here somewhere it might have been a leaf i think that might be it for this net guys but we're gonna get all this back in the water i feel something crawling on my leg so we're gonna get all these guys back in the water real quick we're gonna do that same kind of net again because we just pulled up some cichlid so hopefully we could pull up some cool fish as well oh good net great net great net wow. bless me oh Oh, what is this? See a little fishy down here. Oh, okay. So not a super cool fish. It's a jewel cichlid. As you guys know, I catch like a bajillion of these things, but a nice little jewel cichlid. We'll get them back in the water real quick. And I'm not seeing anything else. Get all these plants back in. And we're just going to keep working our way down the canal to try to catch some cool stuff. Oh. We should do an overhand. Overhand? I don't know. I feel like... Oh, yeah, we did catch some fish. Oh, what is that? It's got some color to it here. I'm gonna come up here. I might switch to a different net because this one's also taking some damage. But, oh, <laughs> I'm slipping the side. We'll see what we got in here. Oh, what is a you? This guy just jumped to the front. It also seems to be, it could be a mine. It could be any of the big and basic cichlids, but it also could be. No, I think this is actually a baby mine cichlid. You can see the stripes in the false eye back there. Put him back. Fat mosquito fish right here. Oh, what is this? Oh, yes. No way. Look, we caught another one of these rainbow fish, guys. I think you guys commented down below. These are actually those Monty rainbow fish. This is a lot smaller than the ones we caught last video. Super cool fish. We're not going to waste too much time before we get them in the bucket, but you can see the color on him. Beautiful, beautiful fish. We're going to just hold them in our hand really quick before, before we dump this net back out and get all these fish back in the water. But this guy is something we're definitely going to be keeping for the 55-gallon tank. And I think we just caught some mosquito fish in here. So we're gonna get him in the keeper bucket. All right, guys, so right here we have another rainbow fish. Super, super cool catch, beautiful fish. We're gonna get him in the keeper bucket. So pretty cool catch, guys. This canal is super hot. Usually when the flow isn't this crazy and there's not as much water in here, they pile up in the thousands by that little covert. So hopefully the beef jerky works well in the fish trap. But we're gonna take this super thick net and just rip through all of this plant right here. Oh, crawfish. Big old net, big old net. Here, let me try to get all these weeds so no fish escape us. And we're gonna check this out real quick, see what we caught. We might venture, venture further down the canal either way to continue netting, but let's see what we caught in here. Super thick stuff. A lot of small fish that we might not be able to see. I should have dumped it out in the sand. Oh, right there, crawfish. Beautiful. We're gonna get him back in the water. I'm actually not seeing many fish in here. They could, could be just working through this mess right here. There's a lot of super thick plants right here. So there could be some hiding. We'll just shake it out above the net. Now, I think actually that crawfish was the only thing in this net. So I think it's time to move locations. We could have spooked them down the canal or up the canal with the few nets we did take. Well, actually I'm probably just gonna hop on over right over there. Some of these plants are like completely some, oh yes, we caught some fish. I don't know what yet, but some of these plants, like a lot of these weeds are actually covered in sand that got kicked out by the flow. All right, guys, so I'm gonna try to keep everything in the net for the time being. Oh, we searched through, oh yeah, we caught a ton of little fish in here. I'm not seeing any crawfish yet. I think I'm gonna throw this plant mass back in. Ew, I hate those bugs so much. Looks like we caught some mosquito fish. Anybody else hiding back here? A ton of these little dragonfly nymphs. Not many cichlids. I think this flow is really switching up the location. So we're gonna move down a little bit where we haven't net yet. See if we could pull something up. Oh, I see a school of fish. Hold on. 
No. Guys, ignore that. Ignore that. It's not what it looks it's, like. It's not what it looks like. It's not my fault. I don't. I saw a school fish. I don't know if we actually were able to get him because his net broke mid stroke. We'll dump it out. Maybe we got lucky and did, but this net. I think the heat honestly weakens the aluminum. And then they just rack like that because they kind of melt a little bit. But hey, it had a good run. Oh, there's already some movement right here. Look at this, guys. Right here, we got this fit. Oh, what the hell is that? Its eyes are black, like jet black, and its body's translucent. Oh, there's another fit. Oh, okay. So we got some of the school. We weren't able to actually catch all the fish, I don't think. I saw a lot more fish, but we got a lot of these little tetras bouncing about. So right here, guys, we got one of these. This is a super weird tetra right here. We're going to get him back in the water. We got this little guy down here. Oh, there he goes. He's swimming off. But but cool little finds. Let's see if there's anything left. Oh, look at this. No way. Is this a neon tetra or is this a cardinal tetra? There's two species, right? One has the full stripe and one has a half stripe. But I have no clue which one of these this is. I do know a friend who might be holding the camera who might be interested in these as well. So we're going to actually keep that guy as well. I don't know if it's going to be going back to my tank. But super cool find regardless, guys. So we're going to keep netting around. Uh, the sun's actually coming down, so we might check the fish trap soon. But cool finds. That's really sick. All right, guys. What are you, are you zooming in on my face? We're going to use this next net, guys, because that one just broke. So, Kevin, you're coming in clutch yet again. We're going to use this one right here and see what we could do. I just saw some big cichlids. I'm going to net by the trap now because I do know I'm going to be pulling it soon. So I'm not really too concerned about letting it. What is that? I'm not too concerned about scaring fish away from it because it's been here for about an hour. So we're gonna do our best to just net right here. Oh, I'm stuck. Help me step, bro. What? What? We just took some nets right here. Let's see if we got anything. I'm sinking so much. All right, back to the inspecting plane. Hopefully we caught some of the cichlids I saw. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> hey, whoa, hello. The right, oh. No, no, for saying I thought this was a bigger black acara, but it's just a silly old tilapia. And this, this, however, is actually probably a black acara. Oh, no, I, oh, no, no, he's in a keeper pocket. <laughs> oh, never mind, it's a mine cichlid. Lame. He's just got a weird body shape for mine. But we're going to get him back in the water and see what else is lurking around in here. Oh, let's go. Look, another one of these guys. Beautiful, beautiful tetra. I'm not too sure what he is. I see a lot. Oh, there's more movement. Here, we're going to get him in the keeper bucket real quick. There's more fish. Oh, sick. It's another one of those rainbow fish. It's just super, super small. Beautiful little rainbow fish. Not going to waste too much time getting him back in a bucket. They're pretty fragile, I've learned. Oh, another little rainbow fish, guys. Beautiful. They're super easy to ID now that I know what they are. They stand out amongst everything. And I saw another little fish. Oh, my God. Let's go. <laughs> a beautiful little tetra, guys. We're definitely, definitely going to be keeping these. They're so pretty. Look at him. Anybody else dragging around in here? Anybody messing around, messing around? So I think we're going to check that trap with the beef jerky because those guys were hanging around just next to... Oh, you see something? I did. You did? Oh, no, he vanished. All right, well, we're going to throw these back in the water. We're going to check this trap first just because it's the one closest to us. We've been fishing this area a lot, so I'm not really too certain how it's going to go, especially because the beef jerky is in it. But we're going to pull this up and walk this over in the water just because the less time out of the water for the fish, the better. Oh, I fell. <laughs> oh, I'm slipping. Oh, we caught a lot of fish in here. Oh, I see a rainbow fish. Oh, we already, it's already a success. But we did also catch like a ton of mosquito fish. If you guys look in, oh my God. We got a few rainbow fish in here. That's beautiful. So we got this guy right here. We're not going to spend too much time checking them out right now. We could check them out later when we stop by the house to actually add them into the tank. We're going to get all these fish. Oh, another tetra. What are these? We got a better look at him now that he was in the trap. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Next one, guys, we got another tetra right here. Oh, rainbow fish. Last time we were here, we accidentally like broke its back because of the trap. But I'm not seeing any more exotics right now. I'm going to try to get them all these fish to the middle. There's so many fish in here. So beef jerky, guys, if you're curious, actually works pretty well. But we caught a ton of beautiful, beautiful, big male jewel cichlids in here as well as the elusive black acara. Look at that. <laughs> I've literally never caught these anywhere else, guys. We got a black acara. They look like a spotted tilapia, but these are an exotic fish. So beautiful, beautiful cichlids in here as well. This jewel cichlid's got a weird pattern on it. Might be a female right here. Another jewel cichlid. Another jewel cichlid. Two more jewel cichlids. Beautiful. Oh, look at that male. This male is 
gorgeous. Look at the reds on them. Super, super pretty fish right here. This jewel get back in the water as well. And I think the rest of this trap, guys, are just a mound of these mosquito fish. <laughs> you can hear it. <laughs> Look at all these mosquito fish. It's so insane. We caught a couple hundred of these guys in here. We're gonna get all these guys back in the water. Walk down the canal. Oh, there's another one of the tetras in here. Good thing I double checked before we threw them back. Oh, almost fell. But we got another little tetra right here, guys. And it seems as though the rest of these are actually Oh, wait, might be another little exotic. Yeah, yep, look, it's another one of those guys. This is like the first fish we caught, same species. Pretty weird little dude. There you go, in the keeper bucket. So we're gonna get the rest of these guys back in the canal. Pretty successful, beef jerky does work if you guys are curious. So we're gonna check the other trap and see if it beat the cat food. We're now at the second trap, guys. We're gonna pull it up. Nothing actually moved the trap, which is nice to see. So we're gonna pull this guy up right here. I don't hear as much movement. Oh. Oh yeah, we still caught some stuff. I see a lot of little mosquito fish. Bring it up here and inspect it. We'll see. Oh, look. It's another one of these super weird little touches. We'll just throw him in right there. They take a little second to revive. But I think I see a couple more little rainbow fish in here as well. Nope, that's a jewel. <laughs> <laughs> throw him back. But the bigger fish tend to be the rainbow fish. Oh, let's go. Look at that. Oh, some beauties in here. Here, I'll try to pick them out one by one and get them in the... Oh, one just slipped out. You go there. We got another one right here of an absolute beauty. You go there. Oh, look, little tetra. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> he jumped away, but I see another rainbow fish right here. Beautiful, beautiful. Get him in there. It's okay if a few mosquito fish get in there. Check over the top, make sure nothing is stuck up there. So the rest of these fish are lurking around in here somewhere. What are you? Beautiful little fish. Still have no clue what this is right here, but we're gonna get him in the bucket. We caught some more neons or cardinal tetras. I don't actually know which is which. This might be a cardinal tetra, to be honest. I'm not too, too sure but he's beautiful, we'll get him in the bucket. Beautiful little dude right there. Weird, weird, weird fish though, like actually super weird looking. Another little tetra down here, I see two actually. I see another neon. There we go, I got him. They blend in so well with the mosquito fish as far as like their body types go, it's pretty hard to fish them out. So it's pretty close between, oh, what are you? Oh, <laughs> look, I almost gave up on him. There's a little baby rainbow fish in there as well. As well as this tetra right here. So we're gonna get him in the bucket and I think Oh, <laughs> they just keep showing up. As I dig through these mosquito fish, I keep digging up some tetras as well. But another one right here. Look at the size of that neon tetra right there. That thing is a beauty. We're going to get him in there. And I think that is it for real Z's this time. If we compare the two traps, beef jerky versus cat food, pretty similar. And I'm stepping on the string again. Ton of fish in here, but I think... That is all the exotic fish out of this trap, guys. So in conclusion, guys, beef jerky versus cat food, they're kind of similar. They both perform pretty well. We're gonna get all these fish right here back in the canal, empty the trap, pack everything up, and bring the fish we caught and kept back to the house. All right, guys, so now we're at my friend's house, and we're going to be gifting them most of the fish we actually caught. We already added some of the neon tetras in here, and this is a very small temporary holding tank because we are still treating my 55-gallon tank. It's also thundering, so like if the lights go out in the middle of this, then so be it. But in this bucket right here, we still have the rainbow fish and it's probably best if I just add them in here for the time being, just to hold them, nurse them back up, make sure they're healthy. And possibly it might even act as a quarantine tank for when we actually get them in the 150. That might be their forever home. I'm trying to keep them in the water as much as possible, but these guys are gonna look incredible in this tank. The fish do get pretty stressed out in transport, but should be fine. We got some rainbow fish right here. I don't actually know how many we caught, but we're going to be adding all of these guys in here. And these guys are small enough to where this will actually work out for a while, give them time to recover, recoup from getting caught out in the wild. And then we'll probably end up bringing them back to the 55 gallon or the 150. They're very small, very active fish. So. <laughs> They should do incredible in this tank. They'll look great. And I'll be able to give you guys updates on them in the future. But I think that might have been all of them. We got this guy right here. This little dude. Some tiny, tiny little baby rainbow fish. We caught some big adults last time. We didn't catch any today, but that's okay because... So in this tank, guys, you can see the rainbow fish and everything looking great. Marley is being a little rowdy right now but they'll get adjusted they'll do just fine in here they'll get fed every day looked after the person caring for them is pretty good at keeping fish so i'm pretty confident in that luckily we were able to record this one um i'm not able to do that every time but they'll do fine guys so this is kobe we caught him out of the abandoned fountain from a while back so we got kobe these guys actually came from the abandoned uh pond we might be going back there soon for a big fish trapping video 
These guys we actually got from the canal last time, these Danios, as well as the Serpe in here. And so, yeah. Where's the Banjo Cat? The Banjo Cat is got him. buried. He's buried somewhere. He's in there somewhere. But yeah, overall, pretty cool. Pretty cool little setup we got going on here. The rest of these guys we're gonna get back in the bucket. And this last rainbow fish we're gonna add right here. Beautiful, I absolutely love them. We will be going back to this location to fish for more of them for all the tanks that we have. If you enjoyed the video so far, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. But that is it. If you wanna see us go back, you already know what to do. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.